So they're starting nice and quick. Yeah, Utopian Ray, we got Venya playing FD. Like I mentioned before, Utopian Ray's been on a tear with his terms recently. Venya, very proficient at taking away Luma and no support area. He has, Greninja has a lot of options to get rid of it. It's the third hit of jab, rapid jab, dash it back, the last hit of back air, the first hit of back air close up. How does Nair do? Nair, not really. Stuns not. it a little bit. Yeah. All those, like, uh, knocks it away. No, oh, but at 0%, fair doesn't do anything, apparently. Yeah, it is, Yeah, fair's not an option. All the, all the things I mentioned works at zero. But, like, it does a lot. Good quick recovery from Rosalina. Could have been trouble otherwise. See? The hitbox is not active the whole way. Yep, went right through the halo. So I mentioned it in the bit before, like, that down here is not all the active. And that's exactly it. <laughs> the halo is like, yes, hit from me boom, boom, below. <laughs> and just cut. I call it the Kenshin right there. Then you're wisely getting off to the side from that upper strength. He's doing that, but like... Why is he mashing A though? He, he mashing and you didn't hold it. No. That way it's just active. Because if it's active, it's hard to get rid of it. That's true. Yeah, I figured he'd be calling up to him though to like knock him out of the air. Yeah, but this matchup was uh, not so great for Rosa. Because you have a character who's moving all over the place, has many options to get rid of Luma. Yeah, especially since you can chest sneak out of the up air things, I think. And then you have the character who has the slowest time landing. Yeah. Yep. That's why the problem. Wow. Convincing two stock by Venya here on FD for opening match. The winner smiles. <laughs> that sounds like a fat Albert mixed with a Chewbacca. I can't do the Chewbacca like mush mouth. Like, I was like he's, that sounds like him drowning after that match. <laughs> he's getting <laughs> washed. Yeah, the same start as last time. Yeah, like the, the stage is not even a matter here. Yeah, so. it's, it's it's good for both. Now he's gonna dive in early at the top. So wait, no, I think Dreamland's the same as no, it's not the same as that team. Oh yeah. Okay, so. Wait, Vince. Okay. You see, the dash attack is so good in this matchup. It's just pop him up in the air, and then, well, Luma's gone. And then forward air, or say forward tilt, now Luma's gone. He's going to fall, and poof. Okay, didn't get the sweet spot, but that's really hard to do on this platform. Got him again. Missed it. He's trying to get the angle to push Rose in the air, but didn't quite get it there. Nice aggressive forward air, looks like. Back throw. Either that gets some distance. Yep, good stall. Cut, dash attack. That's the end of the Luma. Yep. Don't work out anymore. Yep, and then that was forward air neutral air. I couldn't even. I think that was forward air. Did that kill? That was, that was your forward air. Four smash. Four smash. Yeah. I was wondering uh, <laughs> what Rosalina did to get smacked by that. Luma's just struggling in the wow. log right now. Surprisingly, Rosa has a very far tech roll. What's with the princesses? Yeah, yeah the, all the tall ladies have a all long the tech all, roll. all the princesses have, like, long rolls. Like, Zelda rolls far, Sheik rolls far. Also, Ike? Oh, yeah, Ike does that. Whoa. And I don't think it... Oh. He probably would have drifted to the stage. That was a smart back air. Yeah, he wasn't going to make that shot. Yeah. He needs to jump for that. All right, so he gets his first stock of the set. Luma dead. Okay. Yeah. Now, like, jab, jab, jab doesn't work on Rosa because it's so damn floaty. Yeah, she but fell out of. Almost out the top. If that connected, that was. Yeah, it would have popped. That was death. Slow get up and doesn't drop it. Nice recall from Luma. Luma might have been punched otherwise. But now she's dead. Oh. He's dead? Luma's a bit good. Yeah, so. like, Luma is gonna be. Ugh, why did that hit you? What? What happened? He was DIing in. <laughs> that was dash attack, right? Uh, yeah, dash attack to forward air. I thought that was forward throw. I was like, wait, why did that hit you? Well. Gintex is mad we called Rosa a princess. 
I know. I'm sorry, John Harris. He's right. Anyway, we're back to Dreamland. Again, Greninja starts off with a quick 20-something percent. Before getting Luma off stage. Yeah, as I thought. I was like, yeah, that was 40. Okay. Oh, fourth throw. Yeah. Okay, fourth throw. Easy up till get rid of it. And there goes Luma. Luma should be going at least 90% of the match in this matchup. If the Greninja is paying attention. Caught jabbing, got rolled behind, and grabbed. Let's get Al's out of there. And, okay. slippery. and that's it. <laughs> Curious option with the direction. He, he's like, I, like I, I don't know if he just rage quit it or he just messed up the input. Regardless, he died. It was gone. And see, that's what I mean. Like, if you keep a time in your head, it's like once it's there, dash tag, clink, clink, and it's gone again. Like, this match was like, I don't. His natural. Uh, like his normal neutral gets rid of Luma easily. This, this how determines how well you do against the ma in a matchup. Yeah. If your regular neutral gets rid of Luma with like not much of an issue, you can, you can win a matchup. Yeah, his neutral beats Luma. He can get out of the up air string, so it's really tricky for Rosa to figure out something around this. Doesn't go backwards. Oh. Michelle sneak and kills her. Wow. That, that should not have killed. Her. 